so welcome to this after effects tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to create a cloud slideshow so before we start let us have a look at what we are going to make Okay, so this is what we're going to create now. So create a new composition. I'm going to call this as main comp. So it should be 1920 by 1080. And the duration can be 16 seconds. So now I'm going to import my images. So I click on file, okay, just select all the images and import. Alright, so here I'm having the cloud images and the pictures. Okay, so just select all these clouds and drag and drop in the remain copy. Alright, now make these all cloud images as 3D layers. Select this option. Create a new composition. I'm going to call this as image comp underscore zero one. It can be 16 seconds as well. So just hit OK. Alright. So now inside this, I'm going to add my picture one. Okay. Scale it properly. So now go to our main composition. So now bring this image comp zero one here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a fly through effect. For that we're going to use two views here. Select like two views. So this is top view and this is active camera view. Okay. So we are going to duplicate these clouds a couple of times. And we're going to arrange all these clouds in a three dimensional space. So select the cloud and just change the position of these clouds like this select all these clouds and just duplicate by pressing ctrl d and we can bring them front all right and Make this image comp also a 3D layer. Okay, so here is our image. Alright. So now in the back, I'm going to add some clouds. So just select these two clouds and press Ctrl D and just move them. Alright. Okay. So now I'm going to add a camera. So right click, new, camera okay I'll expand this option so all right so position your camera uh, from the top view okay so just uh, drag this camera okay so this can be here so press Ctrl K. I'm going to change the length of this composition to 0, 0.8. Okay. We go to the end of this composition. And now change the camera position like this. Now the camera should focus on our image. Okay, so don't worry about the clouds now. We're going to change these positions. Okay, let me see. Okay. 
who can change the uh, position of these clouds now. Just make use of these two views. Okay. Okay, now this is looking good. Uh, yeah. So go to our camera keyframes and select these keyframes. Okay, press F9 and change the curves like this. Alright. Now, play and see. Alright. So this is okay. Now I'm going to add some slight rotation for our image. Okay, so select this image composition and just animate the Z rotation. Okay, it can be minus 8 and then can be plus 2. Right. So let me see. All right, so this is looking good. So initially, it should not be visible. So I'm going to animate the scale value as well. So press S and make it zero. So after four seconds, make the scale to 100. So now uh, just select these two and press F9. That will be okay. Let us see. One more time. Yes, this is looking good. So now we can add some border for our image. So to do that, let's go to our image comp, create a new layer, solid. It can be white. Okay, so double click this rectangle too. Okay, so this has now created a perfect mask for this layer. So expand this mask. Change the mask expansion value to minus 25. Alright, so now change this add to subtract. So now we have a nice white border for our photo. So now let us play one more time. Yes, this is looking good. So select all these layers and right click and pre compose. Uh, I'm going to give the name as cloud com 01. Okay. Alright, so I want some length for this main composition, so change the duration. So change this to 16. Okay. 
that's fine. We'll create a new solid. Okay. So the ripples effects. I'm going to add gradient ramp. Just double click it. Okay. So change this to some more sky blue color. Alright. So that's fine. Just like so. Alright. So bring this down. So this is the base, okay, so we can add multiple images uh, by duplicating this cloud comp and our image comps. So let me add one more image, okay, so first of all, duplicate this image comp. So I'm going to change this picture. Scale it. <coughs> Scale it. Alright, so now duplicate this cloud composition. Alright, I'm going to change this image comp here. So from here, select the image composition 2 and hold Alt and drag this onto this image comp. Okay, so this will replace this uh, image composition. Alright. Yes, now we can uh, change this rotation of this image. Stop. Change this to plus 8. Alright. So now here we can change this to minus 2. So just plain Z. That is perfect. There's a drag and drop this cloud composition here. Okay. So I'm going to animate the opacity. So just add some fade effect. So for this also we're going to animate the opacity. So. Alright. Alright, so let us see. Okay, this is nice. So if we want, we can add some lens flare. So I have now created an adjustment layer. From here, I'm going to use lens flare. So double click this effect. So yes. Just change the flare position. So this way you can add multiple images all you have to do is duplicate these cloud compositions and image compositions change the images 
and if you want you can change the position of the clouds also so thanks a lot for watching this tutorial i hope you find this tutorial useful see you soon in the next video bye